All right, so I got a puppy here, and we are still pushing on the Cuphead build, but now we're gonna take this nice, beautiful, uh, shiny art that Jared printed up for me and replace it with the template that I used for um, cutting and drilling all the, the buttonholes and plaques and everything. So, although this looks like it's pretty complete, we gotta tear it completely down, all the screws, buttons, sticks, everything's gotta come out, and we're going to redo it with this nice, shiny one, so. I'm going to go ahead and do all that, and we'll pick back up once this nice, beautiful piece is where this dingy, torn up piece is. So we'll see you then. Alright, another day. It is the day before free play, and I have a crap ton of stuff left to do to finish uh, Cuphead. I'm up at FGP. We have the FSU Film School coming in today to uh, do some student film, I guess, or something. So we're letting them use the space. So I will be working on what is on the counter here today. So yes, this is the new art on Cuphead. Looks great, all shiny and nice. Um, I do also have the speaker bar here with the speaker fabric material that I will be covering and stapling on the back of that so that'll be all nice and done. Um, and then I have the harnesses, but I do have to pin these out to the Molex still and then put the pink ones that I built onto the um, brook boards. So once the brook boards are done, I'm probably going to mount both brook boards on a little piece of wood and then mount those like under the bottom of the coin door. This way they're, they're secure so if the cab moves, they're not going to pop loose or anything. Um, once that's done, we got to paint the inside of the front, pop on the T-molding, do final placement and everything, and then Jared's coming up tonight to do the side art. And then once that's done, we're going to play test it, and then wrap it up and take it down to free play. So I will pick this up after I get the Molex connectors crimped and maybe the brook's done. Not quite sure yet. All right, so we're back at my shop. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but I painted the inner inner rails here in preparation for putting everything back together. Got the female harnesses which are going to be going into the brook soon. Um, sorry I didn't film it, but I did get the speaker panel covered in the material. You can kind of see the speaker holes a little bit, but I think that'll clean up once it's up on there. So now, got the control panel here. We're going to be wiring these to the male connectors that plug into the pink ones, and then the pink ones plug into the brooks. And the Brooks plug into the Xbox, and the Xbox plugs into the TV, and so on and so on. So, assembly of the finished cab has begun. All right, so we have the uh, Molex connectors on the harnesses, both wired up the same exact way. So we got both here, and both there. So I do have to run a separate ground and lead for the guide button, which I'm going to put down here in the coin door. So now I'm going to take our female pink wires and wire them into the Brooks. And then plug those in, and then we can hopefully play test soon. We'll see. All right, so we got the marquee back up. It's kind of hard to see, but we got our uh, speaker panel there. Got the plexi back on, control panels there. Going to change ball tops, but now I'm working on pinning up these little brooks over here. So I'm going to put these on PCB feet, line them up on this little piece of wood, and then that will be a platform that we zip into the bottom of the cab. This way they don't move around. So we'll pick this up once these are mounted. All right, so I am working on the garbage stuff where I'm basically taking the female end of the harnesses and putting them into the PCBs. Uh, Christy, who's filming right now, and Jared are working on side art placement. Um, so once this is done, once they have that stuck down, we can go ahead and uh, anchor the Xbox back in here. And I need to go get some USB cables because I forgot them. And then we can come back and plug everything in and maybe play test it. Oh, and I gotta put the coin door back on, which I brought up. But uh, we will pick this back up once the side door is stuck down, and I'm done with the wire. All right, so we're almost done. We have the T molding on, we got the side art on, we got the control panel on with the white ball tops, and we're having board problems, of course. Nothing's gonna be easy, so. The Brook UFBs, one of them is not working properly. It times out after about 10 seconds. The Xbox prompts us for an update. Um, so basically I'm gonna take these boards to my house, plug them into the internet, hopefully update the firmware on both of them, and then run back and test it to make sure that it's working properly. So I was hoping to be done by about 10 o'clock tonight, and it's about midnight now, and uh, we're not done. Such is life. All right, so it's been a while since I followed up with you guys, but it's uh, the weekend after uh, Free Play Florida, and I just wanted to kind of follow up with you guys to let you know some of the stuff that happened with Cuphead uh, before I show it to you in its current resting spot. So, working on the game, everything was working great. Had the Xbox One working. 
Uh, basically, I decided to update the firmware um, of my brook boards the night before uh, free play. And for whatever reason, that just killed compatibility with the Xbox One. So got super frustrated, super stressed out. Almost didn't even go to free play Florida. Just super bummed out about it. You know, you put all this work in and just didn't want to work. But luckily, I remember that I had the game on Steam on PC. So plugged the Brooks into the PC, forced it into Xbox 360 mode, and it worked. So was able to bring it down to free play and actually won one of the One Up Awards uh, from Free Play Florida 2017. So that was kind of cool. So let's go ahead and check and see how it looks, uh, how it came out. And I will insert some footage of a. Uh, of the game at Free Play Florida. So let's check it out. She is all done up at flipping great pinball. Got cuphead going here, the control panel, coin door redone. Um, came out pretty good. I still got to put that little kick cover on the front. You can see it's starting to get chips from people kicking it, but came out pretty good. Again, Jared just did killer job printing out this side art. Rob and him both did a killer job vectoring everything and making it work pretty well. And got this hidden plexi on here with the little 24 inch LED marquees up there. Control panel came out great. Um, kind of hard to see the detail in the corner, but I pulled that off and resprayed that with hammer and everything, and it works good. And it so far, people are loving it, man. At free play, I had a lot of compliments from from people that have been in the business for a bit. Felt really good to get this thing done and up and running and working, and you know, it's pretty good. So I'm not gonna play with one hand, obviously, but if I check, uh, hit a button here, you can kind of see how it pulls everything up, and you can start everything and. Right now I have my wife's uh, PC in here because I'm still waiting for the Xbox One fix, but you can see here, when you move around the joystick, it, it moves, I don't know if I can get the whole thing in here, but let's see. It moves around. 
I have the speakers turned down right now just because it's kind of loud, but everything works good. So overall, I'm really happy with it. It was a lot of work, but uh, you know, it looks pretty good. It controls really well on uh, an arcade cab, so I'm really happy with it. I appreciate you guys checking out the build log. Again, sorry it took so long to get the final one up, but just super stressful bringing it down there and getting everything done, but overall, it's awesome. So if you want to check this out, feel free to stop by Flippin' Great Pinball in Tallahassee, Railroad Square. Uh, I also highly recommend if you have not played the game, check it out. It's only 20 bucks. Uh, it's absolutely an incredible, incredible game. Uh, the animation is great, control is great. It's it's challenging. I'm not gonna say it's super hard. It, it's it's a very challenging game, but it's absolutely stunning, and I love everything about it. So, thank you guys again. And I wish I could say that we were done with build logs, but we have two new-ish games in my shop that we're going to be working on next. One's in arcade, one's in pitball. But uh, we'll be on that soon. So thank you guys again for following the Cuphead builds. And on to the next one.